Mesopotamian mythology played a significant role in the lives of ancient civilizations, offering explanations for the natural world, societal order, and human existence. At the heart of this rich tradition is the creation myth, Enum Welish, which tells the story of how the world was formed out of chaos and the struggle between the gods and goddesses. According to Enum Welish, the universe began as a swirling mass of primordial chaos, known as Tiamat. Tiamat was the embodiment of the chaotic and untamed forces of nature, representing the informed and shapeless void that existed before the world was created. In the midst of this chaos, two gods emerged, Apsu, the god of fresh water, and Tiamat's consort, and his son, the god Ea. Initially, Apsu and Tiamat coexisted peacefully, but as their children began to multiply, Apsu became increasingly annoyed by their noise and commotion. He plotted to destroy his offspring, but Ea discovered his plan and killed him in his sleep. With Apsu gone, Tiamat became enraged and vowed to adventure his men. Tiamat summoned an army of monsters and demons to do her bidding, including her new consort, King Gu, who was given control of the army. In response, the younger gods and goddesses rallied around Marduk, the god of creation, who agreed to lead them into battle against Tiamat. The ensuing war was a fierce and brutal struggle, with both sides unleashing unimaginable power and devastation. Tiamat was an almost unbeatable foe, with a body that was covered in scales and fins like a fish, a mouth that could open wide enough to swallow entire armies, and eyes that were so fierce they could kill with a single glance. But Marduk was a clever and resourceful warrior, and he eventually succeeded in defeating Tiamat by shooting an arrow into her open mouth, piercing her heart and killing her instantly. After Tiamat's death, Marduk used her body to create the world as we know it. He divided her body into two pots. The upper half became the heavens, while the lower half became the earth. He then created humans from the blood of King Gu, Tiamat's consort, to serve as the new rulers of the earth. The Enum Welish is a powerful and compelling creation myth that offers insight into the way ancient civilizations viewed the natural world and the forces that govern it. It emphasizes the importance of struggle and conflict, as well as the role of divine intervention in shaping the world as we know it. While many elements of the Enum Welish may seem fantastical and otherworldly, it is important to remember that these myths played a significant role in shaping the beliefs and values of ancient societies. By studying and understanding these myths, we can gain a greater appreciation for the complexity and richness of human culture and history. Mesopotamian mythology is rich with a diverse pantheon of gods and goddesses, each with their own unique powers, attributes, and relationships with each other. From powerful deities like Inanna, the goddess of love and war, to wise creators like Enki, the gods and goddesses of Mesopotamia played a significant role in shaping the culture and beliefs of ancient civilizations. Inanna was one of the most prominent goddesses in Mesopotamian mythology revered for her beauty, strength, and prowess in both love and war. She was known by many names, including Ishtar and Astarte, and was often associated with the planet Venus. Inanna was also the goddess of fertility and was believed to have the power to control the weather and the harvest. Enki was another important god in Mesopotamian mythology, often depicted as a wise and benevolent creator. He was the god of wisdom and was believed to have played a significant role in the creation of the world. Inki was also the patron god of craftsmen and artisans and was revered for his knowledge of metallurgy, agriculture, and irrigation. Other prominent gods and goddesses in Mesopotamian mythology include Adandu, the god of the sky and the king of all gods, and Lil, the god of wind, storms, and agriculture, and Ninhursig, the mother goddess and the goddess of fertility and childbirth. Each of these deities had their own unique attributes and played a significant role in shaping the culture and beliefs of ancient Mesopotamia. In addition to their powers and attributes, the gods and goddesses of Mesopotamia also had complex relationships with each other. They were often depicted as members of a larger family with intricate relationships and hierarchies. For example, Anu was the father of the gods and the highest deity in the pantheon. 
While Lin Lil was often depicted as his son and the ruler of the earth, the significance of each god and goddess in Mesopotamian culture extended beyond their role in mythology. They were also deeply integrated into everyday life and religious ceremonies. The gods and goddesses were believed to be responsible for maintaining order and balance in the world, and as such, were revered and worshipped by the people of Mesopotamia. Temples were built to honor the gods and goddesses, and elaborate rituals and sacrifices were performed to appease them and ask for their blessings. The gods and goddesses were also believed to have the power to intervene in human affairs, often in response to prayers and offerings made by their followers. The gods and goddesses of Mesopotamia were central to the culture and beliefs of ancient civilizations. They represented the forces of nature and the divine power that governed the world, and were revered and worshipped by the people of Mesopotamia for their ability to bring order and balance to the chaos of everyday life. The Mesopotamian concept of the afterlife was complex and multifaceted, reflecting the deep-seated belief in the continuity of the soul after death. According to Mesopotamian mythology, the afterlife was comprised of multiple underworlds, each with its own set of gods and goddesses and rituals to ensure a safe passage. One of the most significant figures in the Mesopotamian afterlife was Eris Kigal, the goddess of the underworld. Eris Kigal was believed to proceed over the realm of the dead and was responsible for judging the souls of the deceased. She was often depicted as a fearsome figure with a body that was half flesh and half bone and was believed to have the power to inflict torment on those who displeased her. Another important figure in the Mesopotamian afterlife was Nurgle, the god of death. Nurgle was often associated with the heat and destruction of the sun and was believed to have the power to pass judgment on the souls of the dead. He was also worshipped as a fertility god and was often depicted with a scythe, symbolizing his power over life and death. The Mesopotamian concept of the afterlife was deeply intertwined with burial practices, which were believed to be essential for ensuring a safe passage into the underworld. The bodies of the deceased were carefully prepared for burial, with great care taken to ensure that the soul would be able to navigate the treacherous underworld. One of the most important aspects of Mesopotamian burial practices was the use of grave goods, which were believed to provide comfort and protection to the deceased. These included items such as food and drink, clothing, and personal possessions, which were often buried with the deceased in their tombs. The belief in the continuity of the soul after death was also reflected in Mesopotamian burial practices, with great care taken to ensure that the deceased would be able to find their way to the afterlife. This was often accomplished through the use of funerary texts, which were inscribed on tomb walls and provided instructions for navigating the underworld. The Mesopotamian concept of the afterlife was also reflected in the beliefs and practices of everyday life. The gods and goddesses were believed to be present in all aspects of daily life, and offerings and sacrifices were made to them to ensure their favor and protection. The Mesopotamian concept of the afterlife was complex and multifaceted, reflecting the deep-seated belief in the continuity of the soul after death. The underworld was believed to be a treacherous and dangerous place, but with the right rituals and preparations, the deceased could ensure a safe passage and a peaceful existence in the afterlife. The importance of burial practices and the belief in the continuity of the soul after death underscored the centrality of religion and the gods and goddesses in Mesopotamian culture. The myths and legends of Mesopotamia have had a profound and lasting impact on world culture, influencing not only other mythological traditions and religious beliefs, but also the development of human civilization as a whole. From agriculture and writing to governance and art, the legacy of Mesopotamian culture can be seen in a wide range of contemporary fields and disciplines. One of the most significant contributions of Mesopotamian culture was its influence on other mythological traditions and religious beliefs. The concept of a pantheon of gods and goddesses with complex relationships and hierarchies, for example, can be seen in many other ancient cultures, including those of Greece and Rome. The idea of a cosmic battle between good and evil forces is seen in the Enum Welish, 
has also been adopted and adapted by many other religions and mythological traditions. In addition to its impact on religious beliefs, Mesopotamian culture played a crucial role in the development of human civilization. The region was one of the earliest centers of agriculture, with the fertile soil of the Tigris and Euphrates rivers allowing for the cultivation of crops and the development of settled communities. This led to the development of sophisticated systems of irrigation and the construction of large-scale infrastructure projects, such as canals and dams. Mesopotamian culture also gave rise to some of the earliest forms of writing, including cuneiform, which was used to record everything from religious texts and legal codes to personal correspondence and trade records. This development was crucial for the growth of civilization, allowing for the transmission of knowledge and the creation of complex systems of governance and administration. The influence of Mesopotamian culture can also be seen in contemporary literature, art, and popular culture. Many works of literature, from the Epic of Gilgamesh to the works of modern authors like Neil Gaiman, draw on the rich mythological tradition of Mesopotamia. The art of the region, with its intricate carvings and elaborate murals, has also inspired generations of artists and designers. In contemporary popular culture, the myths and legends of Mesopotamia continue to inspire and inform works of fiction, film, and video games. The character of Gilgamesh, for example, has been adapted into numerous video games, while the epic of Gilgamesh has served as the basis for several films and television shows. Overall, the legacy of Mesopotamian culture is vast and far-reaching, influencing everything from religion and mythology to agriculture, writing, and governance. Its enduring impact can be seen in the myriad of ways in which its myths and legends continue to inspire and inform contemporary culture, offering a glimpse into one of the world's earliest and most influential civilizations.